everyone, it's Hannah, and today I thought I would do a video on my favorite products from December and January. Today is Monday, January something -eth. I think it's the 27th or the 28th, and Thursday is the 31st, so the last day of uh, December. So I thought I would bring to you some of my favorite products that I had in uh, December and in January. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Um, also, new change in my life. I have some colorage going on. I had dyed my hair, which my hair you can tell naturally, well this is not even natural, this is dyed. Um, it's like washed out, like dark brown color that's kind of very close to what I naturally have um, in real life where my hair is all grown out and it's my natural roots. Um, but anyway, so I had bleached my hair before, dyed it like blue, trying to get like a cobalt cover, color, but it wasn't enough to give it that cobalt uh, blue color. It ended up making it look more navy. My hair was too dark. It didn't uh, lighten up very well. And so then I uh, went ahead and decided yesterday I'm going to get some Arctic Fox color because I tried, um, what was the last one I used? I think the last blue one I used was Splat Indigo, Midnight Indigo, and that one just did not work for me. It was just so, so messy. So anyway, I decided I was going to bleach my hair and go ahead and, um, you know, dye cobalt, but when I bleached it, it didn't lighten to like, you know, the normal blonde. Because it was over that blue, it ended up, this is all that happened from bleaching, it ended, it ended up being almost like a lime uh, green. In real life, it's more smoky green, and I really, really like it. So I figured I'll just leave it in for a little while, maybe a week or a week and a half, and see, you know, what happens. Enjoy the color, you know, it's pretty much like free color, you know. And then I'll color over it. I'm going to go black and then blue at the ends, but I thought this was really fun, and my husband likes it, which is what's important. So a lot has happened to me between the beginning of the month and now. Um, in fact, I got married on January 4th, and it was like the best day ever, and um, I'm so excited, and we've been married for almost a month. This Friday will be one month since we got married, and we are so excited. Um, anyway, that was random, but yeah, I got married, so that happened. Um, I, my husband is getting promotion at his job, which is so cool. We were going to move to Minnesota in May, but now it looks kind of like we're not going to, um, just because, um, we had prayed, we're Christians, just putting that out there, and we had prayed and asked God to, um, just kind of direct us. We weren't sure if we were going to move or not, or what was happening, and we just really, we sat down together and we just prayed, and then sure enough, um, within like a week, his boss had offered him a promotion and moving to Minnesota even though the cost of living is higher up there we would have been taking over his family's house for him for them so they could move to Oregon and take care of their parents or grandparents or his grandparents his mom's parents and um so anyway that was kind of what that situation was and we wouldn't have to pay rent living in their house but just a lot of things were kind of on edge about first off it would be their house would be house sitting for them and we just got married um within three weeks a month and so within six months, we'd be living in his parents' house. Even if they weren't there with us, it was still kind of weird. Um, just not feeling like we had our own home. It was too soon to do that, you know, as a married couple. So we had been praying about that. And then sure enough, his boss offered him promotion, paying almost like half of what he's making now on top of what he's making now. So, I mean, it's really, really great. But anyway, let's get into what we're looking at. And then I'll do another video later just talking about everything. So... Um, my favorite products this month, a lot of these are products that I got for the wedding. Um, I had bought for the wedding, and it, they've just been awesome in January, so those are the ones I'm going to do first. Actually, no, I'm going to go to December. So, number one on my list has been a favorite of mine for probably a good four months. I just haven't made a video, obviously, I haven't been really fit filming, but it is the Wonderer Hydrating Body Cleanser in Lavender and um, Amber. So, if you are a part of the Dollar Shave Club... If you know what that is, they are amazing. I'm not part of them anymore, but I used to be, and I love their razors. But they also have a box that will send you like a, cl a couple other things, like um, some wipes, some uh, a cleanser, and then it'll also send you some shaving lotion with the razors. And I think there's something else in there. And this is the best um, cleanser I have body wash I've ever used. It's so fresh smelling. It leaves your body just smelling clean and almost like you have a little bit of a perfume to you, but not in a weird way. It's just so natural and so um, eco-friendly and um, just, 
you know, just look at the ingredients. It's not, um, you know, crazy ingredients, very natural sounding ingredients from all I know. But anyway, this has been an absolute favorite of mine since I started them back in August. I love them. Y'all should try them. Um, honestly, just get the box. Just do the first box they have. It's a $5 one. It lets you try all the products and you won't regret it. It's amazing. The next products I've had um, that are kind of products that have been, well, actually, yes. So this is the last product I have that was before the wedding kind of a thing. Um, is my foundation that I've been using lately. One minute. Alrighty, so my foundation is the NYX uh, Total Control uh, Drop Foundation. It comes with like a little dropper. And this foundation is amazing. I've been using it probably since, wait, probably October, like the end of October to November. I have loved this so much. Um, it's just full coverage. I'm not wearing any foundation right now. I'm just doing natural skin today, but i uh, trying to give my face a little bit of a rest for a little bit. But um, anyway, this foundation is just amazing. Cue some wedding photos of my face, which also have filters, so don't really pay attention to that. But anyway, um, I used this on my wedding day. It was amazing. Stayed all day. Even um, that evening on the honeymoon, if you see a picture of me um, from then, when we went to dinner, um, it's just, it turned out amazing and everything. And so I love this foundation. It's long lasting. You don't need a whole lot to cover your face. Um, and even the makeup, um, People who weren't actually makeup artists. They're more friends of mine who do makeup. Um, they did my foundation and I asked them to use my foundation because I know it works on my skin and my skin can be kind of wonky and sensitive. Um, and I knew it was a product that was good. And they were so amazed at how great this product is. So there's that one. And now we're going to move on to things that I discovered throughout the wedding um, and this after the wedding. So for the wedding, I had bought some different products. I did um, for my lips a peach color lipstick. I didn't include that because that is not a favorite product of mine. Um, oh, it was from the body shop. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Plus, I don't know where it is. But anyway, um, but the lipstick I did use. Um, oh wait, never mind. Um, but when I went shopping for lipsticks for the wedding, I bought like five different lipsticks that were on sale, just in case because I didn't know what colors I wanted. Ended up buying this one um, just because it's a very safe color for a wedding. It's very neutral peachy, uh, not peachy pink, but soft pink. It looks a lot brighter than it really is. Um, and it's amazing. I love this. It's long lasting. I have this in this color, which is um, 205 Elusive Insatiable. Anyway, and I have it in red, uh, which is just a beautiful color. Anyway, these are amazing, long lasting, creamy, kind of work as a chapstick, really. Um, they're just great. And I really suggest these if you're wanting something that is not like the traditional lipstick where it's like super sloppy. This one kind of dries a little bit, but it's not matte. It's still kind of glossy. Um, and then another thing I bought for the wedding. This was more for the bachelorette party. Uh, me and the girls stayed at a hotel overnight before the wedding. And I bought hand food from the body shop. The original pink. It's rose and bergamot. Bergamot. Bergamot sounds better. I don't know why where I got Bogamon from because it's B-E-R. Anyway, um, anyway, and this is amazing. It's a hand cream, completely hydrates your hands, especially in this weather. It snowed on the day of the rehearsal very badly. So our hands were cracking. And not only that, no one came to the wedding. But anyway, um, there was very few people. But the people who did come, I was so excited about. Anyway, that was just completely random. Don't know why I brought that up. But um, it was just a thought I had. This stuff is amazing. Um it's so nice and it was four dollars for the small bottle but you only need like a little bit like a pea size to cover your hands and it's amazing i would suggest getting this they sell it at walgreens which is where i work so get it and then um we're gonna hurry up with these next couple products because this is already a 10 minute video um then for the wedding my husband bought this actually i'm gonna go back to that I bought this product from Rimmel, the Stay Matte Fix and Go Spray. This is amazing. I don't use primer on my skin. I usually put just moisturizer on, which I use uh, Pond's moisturizer for sensitive skin. Um, amazing product, by the way, but didn't want to include it. Um, this completely keeps my makeup on all day. I work in a, a pharmacy, so I'm always on my feet, always um, just kind of sweating. It, the temperature in the pharmacy can go either way, depending on the pharmacist on duty, if they want it cold or they want it hot. Um, and so I just really, really love this product, and it's amazing and so good. And it keeps my makeup on all day. All right, and then we have three more products. 
these kind of go hand in hand. It's by Hask. It's the Orchid and White Truffle um, Shampoo and Leave-In Conditioner. The shampoo is um, supposed to be ultra hydrating. I use this because it really makes my hair, which is a little bit damaged, not really, it's not really anymore after using this. It just makes all that product that's been in my hair just kind of moisturize my hair and it just is amazing, amazing. And then the leave-in conditional conditioner is the argan oil one from Hask. And this is a five in one, uh, it conditions and it detangles and I, it says five in one. Oh, there we go. A miracle product, amazing benefit. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I need to go back. Okay, it conditions and detangles, adds shine, repairs and controls frizz, provides thermal protection, and moisturizes to prevent breakage. So, it's an amazing product. I do this in my hair every day. Actually, every night before I go to bed, even if I wash my hair, I'll spray it in. It can be in dry or wet. And I'll just spray it in real quick, and I really, really love this. It's really good for your hair. Um, and then the last product I have... But that took me less than a minute almost to do all those products. Um, it's the Novo Silky Texture Favorite Eyeshadow Healthy Color Silky Touch Natural and Vivid Shadow Palette. Okay, I'm going to go on the, you know, just go ahead and tell you, this is an Amazon palette. So it's from China. Not, that doesn't mean anything against China, but it is one of those products that it's not a name brand. You've probably never heard of it. Um, and I don't even know, is Nova the brand? If you know, just let me know. I don't really know anything about Chinese makeup, but if you are, let me know. This palette is one of my favorites because, and it's the last product because it's the last one I got. I got this about two weeks ago. Um, it got here about a week after, two weeks after the wedding and about four weeks after my husband bought it for me. I've been looking for peachy shadows, couldn't find it at Ulta, like the right ones. Couldn't find it at like Walgreens drugstore. I couldn't find it anywhere for the right peachy shades because my colors were baby blue and peach. And so um, I found this online, put it in my cart, and my husband secretly bought it for me. Um, without me knowing, and it has a nice right range of peachy shades and some shimmers. What I love about this is it has matte colors. This is matte, this is matte, this is matte, this is matte, this is matte. Um, this is colors matte, um, and then the rest of them are either shimmers or glitters. What I love about this is that you have some glittery shades or you have some more satiny shades. I don't know if you can tell. It's just beautiful colors. Um, they work beautifully. They're actually what I'm wearing today. I just did more of a natural, neutral kind of shade using like this color peach with, uh, well, is it that? Yeah, this color eyeshadow. But I really love it and um, I just wanted to share this in here and I'll put the link down below because it's like six or seven bucks and it's a really, really good palette and it stays on all day. There's virtually no fallout. Um, with it and I, I really like it. I think it's a great palette and y'all should definitely try it um, and let me know what you think. I'm going to look and see if they have any other ones. I haven't looked since receiving it if they have any different palettes but this is really good and the texture is amazing. I would compare the quality of this to my Too Faced um, I don't even know the name of that palette. Too Faced it's the one by Nikki Tutorials. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Anyway the Too Faced palette, the one that has a cheetah print on it, y'all know what it is. It's a very old palette that I really need to get rid of because it's been a, I've had it for years. But um, I would compare this, the quality of these to almost being better than that, um, which that's a lot to say, so I'm not going to say that, but it's they're really good. But anyway, those are my favorite products that I've had for this month. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any of your favorite products that I've used, let me know down below, or if you have any favorite um, eyeshadows from Amazon that are like just like the not even a brand kind of thing let me know down below um also my next video is going to be a dyeing my hair blue video so make sure you guys stay tuned to see if that works because it is going over the green so hopefully this is light enough for the blue to really capture but we'll see you guys later in the next video and i will see you guys later bye